Tá. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is also here today, but we're going to be talking about ancient, ancient Zimbabwe. Yes. Yeah. As Courtney Day showed you in the picture, ancient Zimbabwe was located in the interior of South Africa. And it was also near Masvingo. It was believed that ancient Zimbabwe was on a gold-rich mine, so they harvested gold. Oh my god! Intriguing, right? Yes! Also, did you know that it is east of the Kalahari Desert between the Zimbabwe and Limpopo Rivers? Did you say Limpopo Rivers? Yes, I did. Cool! Right here. Well, Courtney Day, let's discuss the era. What's the era, anyway? Well, since you asked, I guess I can tell you. The era is the time the people were around. And these people, to be exact, were called the Shona people. And they were around. They moved into ancient Zimbabwe around 500 AD. Oh, really? Did you know? They started building stone walls. Stone walls? Yes. Stony! <laughs> Those were in the 1100s. AD or BC? AD. Makes sense. Yeah. Did you know that huge plains surrounded the city? Is that a football field? No, silly. Plains surrounding the city. Oh, of course. And they helped support agriculture. And herding, like cows and stuff. And in the end, it helped sustain them and keep really? them um, a healthy civilization. Aww. Let's discuss the culture. What is culture? Well, since you asked, it's the people's unique way of life. Oh, okay. Mr. Alberti would be so proud. Yes, Tia. <laughs> Anyways, did you know that 2,000 people lived Oh, 20,000 people lived around in mud huts. Mud huts. Mud huts. Wow, that's so interesting. Great Zimbabwe was used and built as a religious centre and place where they worshipped Maori. Maori? Maori, that's right. Maori was the creator of all life as well as the sustainer of all things. Oh my gosh, he's like God. Yeah, just like God. Except, uh, back in ancient Zimbabwe times. And they, they worshipped him, but how? I don't know. Hmm, you tell me. Well, okay, I think they went on their knees like this and they went, Oh, great Maori, we worship you. I think they don't really know how to speak us, so they were probably like, I just don't know how to do that with you. You're funny. I know. <laughs> Anyways, did you know about their roots? <gasps> yes, of course! 
the ruins of what Zimbabwe is most known for. But did you know all of the buildings were not roofed? No, no I roofs. didn't know that. None. So, so when it rained, there was no roofs. Yes, they had to get blankets. Oh, that's just going to be one wet season. <laughs> if they even have blankets. Oh my goodness, we should talk about the stone walling. Oh. How they made their stone wallings is they used dry stone walling techniques, which means they built their uh, structures without cement or mortar. All the pieces fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Did you know also that their buildings were similar to medieval castles in Europe? <gasps> Gas! Oh, I did not know that. That's amazing. In Europe? Yes. And not much is known how or why these buildings were built. Do you? Oh, I have no idea. Interesting. Huh. Yes. How about their religion? Their religion? What is their religion anyway? Like I said earlier, or like we said earlier, they worshipped Maori. Maori? Yes, oh, yes, you know, with the Himbabu. Yes. And did you know they spoke Shona? You put two and ten together, you know. Yeah. The Shona people. Yeah. And it just makes sense. Yes, it does. Anyways, the language Shona means house of rock. Oh my gosh, that makes perfect sense because of the great Romans were made of rock. Again. So that was the language, right? Yes, it was. How interesting. But on a sour note, they left behind no record of a written language or any oral tradition. What are oral traditions? It's like a tall tale, something that gets passed down from generation to generation. You know, like in previous cultures we've learned about, they have stories. Oh. Shona people did not, so we don't know as much about them as we would like to. Oh. Well, speaking of the, everything, they, I don't think, like Mr. Alberti taught us, they don't have the five civilization like characteristics yeah. of civilization yes. really they don't which means they probably weren't that successful of a civilization which is probably why we don't know much about them today yes but they were probably similar to the people in Zimbabwe now but we have no idea really really we don't no but we don't. But they would be like the people there today, except for a lot older, of course. Uh -huh. And probably hairier. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't really know. Yeah, nobody does. If you want to know, go look it up, you won't find much. Well, I hope you've learned a lot today, because we have went over key points. Yes, wow. And in the conclusion of everything, the, the fact... fact that the civilization disappeared as well as the impressive and mysterious walls make the great Zimbabwe one of the truly lost civilizations of the world. Once again, I'm Lake. And I'm Courtney Day. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned so much about ancient Zimbabwe. Have a great day.